The saying goes, the proof is in the numbers, and tonight there is real proof of Detroit's recovery. For the first time in 17 years, assessed property values in the city are going up. Business editor Rob Maloney standing by with pretty big news here, Rod. Yeah, this is important, Devin, and it shows ever so slowly, and I will emphasize slowly, but surely, the city's comeback is starting to show up out in the neighborhood, something that many people have been long waiting to see. And it's something also that they're not going to be so thrilled about if they have to pay that higher tax bill. There are still boarded up and abandoned homes in Detroit's Fitzgerald neighborhood abutting Mary Grove College. But there are also encouraging signs of life. Renovation and roofing companies in large number are here fixing up the place. And there's a reason property values have plumped as the real estate sales market takes hold. Higher prices mean higher values. And the city says this is one of the hot spots for this encouraging development. Longtime resident Eric Bridges still wouldn't believe it when we told him, though. I would love it to happen because I'm a homeowner. I don't plan on moving nowhere else. I'm trying to bring my neighborhood up. He meticulously takes care of the place, the sidewalks down to dry pavement, lots of improvements here. Citywide, Detroit Chief Financial Officer John Hill tells us property values are up more than 6%, but they're capped for tax payment purposes at just over 1%. So if your home's valued at, say, $100,000, your tax bill will only jump about 66 bucks this year. Is if everyone believes that the, the taxes that they're paying are fair based on... Um, uh, the market value, then we've seen that that in and of itself helps us to really keep people uh, in their homes. This, he believes, is a turning point for the city's comeback, considering previous assessments were sky high and many didn't even bother to pay their taxes. Eric says he can live with it. Not really, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. If it's going to help everybody else. Well, Rod, Eric seemed good with these numbers, but I live in the city of Detroit. I'm not good with it. And, and I about <laughs> fell out when I saw how much my property taxes are going up. I had to file an appeal, and I'd imagine other people will have to probably do the same. Right. Well, and, and of course, uh, there is the cap on it, so the number that you're seeing is actually less than what you'd probably have to pay if, uh, if you were paying the full amount. Uh, the person who buys your home next at some juncture down the road would end up having to pay the difference on those taxes. But yes, you can appeal this, and it's not an easy thing to do. When you go to a tax tribunal, you have to bring comps, so you might want to see a realtor to get some comparable values in the neighborhood so you can bring that to the tribunal and explain to them that in as much as you're happy that your house is worth more, it's not needed to be taxed as much and you can appeal it. So yes, it's a, it's a bit of work, but it's something that you're probably going to want to do and it'll be happening in the next month. Yep, we're working on that and I believe we have until the 15th to do so. Rod, we appreciate it very much.